Hello, my lovely Libras. How's everybody doing? All these crazy, crazy astrology energies flowing around here. New starts for everyone, right? Um, this is a you and your person reading. And uh, just so you know, I will be doing a general reading first. And then I will get into um, a three pile you and your person reading. Let's get into this. Um, I think I need to move this back a little bit. There we go. Okay. So Libra, lots of changes. Like I said, there's so many good energies coming in while all this chaos is happening in the world, right? Um, so let's see what we got. Wow. All right. You have this page of pentacles, five of wands, and this ace of pentacles. Very interesting. I feel like you're doing... Um, there's some kind of an internal conflict here with you. Uh, you're coming out of a period of reflection and study and growth, and you're trying to figure out what your next move is, is what I'm getting. And what I'm seeing for you is that the universe has it here. It's offered, okay? It's being offered to you. I feel like, you know, there could be, you could be talking about making some big changes that could be conflict around you as well. All right, just know that this is going to balance out for you. There are going to be great celebrations. I'm hearing this is just a phase, okay? And look at this. All that struggle that you're dealing with, all this resistance that you're dealing with is going to end up bringing in a huge harvest, okay? So with that being said, let's get into a you and your person reading here. So I will pull uh, two cards and one will be represent you, one will represent your person, whichever one you resonate with. And then the middle pile is going to be the progression of the relationship. All right. And sometimes these readings start in the present. Sometimes they show uh, stuff from the past. It's all about you resonating and feeling your way through this here. All right. I've got this four of cups coming in here. And this is showing me that someone is about to embark on a new journey here, okay? This person is kind of sitting there in a place of like wanting to multiply, wanting to expand, waiting for this relationship to come in, right? Um, and, you know, just, but, but being in a, uh, how do I want to put it? Being open, but yet being very stable, okay? In the middle here, we have this King of Swords. That's really interesting. Uh, I feel like both of you are extremely pragmatic. Like, I'm going to take care of business. That has to come first. I feel like you're taking care of yourself first. Notice it's coming up in the Divine Masculine. Um, and it's showing that there's been some healing here from, you know, kind of like leveling up and taking care of yourself first. Okay, um, I do see resistance. I see you trying to gain clarity. Both of you are trying to gain clarity. I feel like some of you have already met this person. Some of you are in a relationship that you are trying to refresh right now, which can be really difficult, you know, with everything that's going on is what I'm feeling. Um, there is chance for that. There's ways to do that. Okay. If you are in a relationship that was stagnant or you went through some trouble, there are ways to accomplish that. Uh, yeah, I've got someone here showing a great amount of patience. This is Earth Angel energy. This person feels a lot more of um, kind of spiritually acclimated is how I want to put it. And they are trying to really up-level their life in certain ways. Over here, I've got someone that is also moving forward in a balanced way, but there's still work that needs to be done, okay? Again, this is separate readings on two different people, and then the middle shows the relationship, okay? Um, if you have met this person already, you're going to feel some resistance here. It's going to feel like you're not quite sure, uh, does this fit? You know, and that's all good. That's really, really good. Um, I do see that there is great potential here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry, okay, that's going to be happening in this relationship. If you haven't met this person yet, I'm trying, hold on one second. Let me just get one more card. 
Yeah, if you haven't met this person yet, this is after you make the decision here. Either one of you makes the decision to kind of go forward in your own path, okay? Like notice how it's between two decisions, like past and future and really going your own way, okay? Um, no, I'm also being called out here to note that even though it's a two, it's nine plus two equals 11. The relationship that is waiting for you Okay, whether it's a resurgence of an old relationship, a refresh, okay, is this is divinely given. Um, there's a lot of unification happening right now specifically because of things that need to happen here on the planet. Okay, there it's going to involve a growth process. This is not something that you're going to come into instantly and things are going to be set up. There's going to be some growth together that is involved here. Okay, it's very possible that this could be coming in from the past, but what I'm seeing is that the two of you are kind of remembering good things that you that you want to bring into the future. This is a balancing out for both of you. All right, so let's ask about this temperance card, please. Focusing on good things is important. Yeah, there's a lot of changes happening for this person here. And I feel like there's huge opportunities coming in for this person. Okay? Huge opportunities. Know that you can have both. I have friends of mine that um, are, they're power couples, basically. They, you know, one of them travels a lot. They don't see each other. But then they take time off of whatever they're doing off of work. And they literally go spend a month together. Okay, or like, and then it's like two weeks or three weeks, like undivided. And that's how they're building. Okay, and they're, you know, they do come together at different times. It depends on scheduling and things like that. But it's possible to do this. If you're with the right person, distance doesn't matter so much. Okay, it's about priorities. All right, we have this Knight of Pentacles coming in here on this side. Notice the queen that is waiting for that pentacle. And I feel like you are actually bringing this in. This person is kind of manifesting this relationship. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So it might feel like it's taking forever. But again, there's work that needs to be done here. It's not going to just happen instantly. I'm asking about this judgment card, please. Yeah, this is about self-mastery here. I feel like this person could be an entrepreneur, okay, could be a healer, a light worker, you know, whatever you want to call them, a life coach even. Um, they could have their own channel. They could have, they could be a content creator of some kind. Um, I feel like they really had to find the discipline. They had to find their niche. They had to find um, their purpose, right? And that's been part of their progression that is going to lead them into, into a place of autonomy or independence to be able to bring this relationship together. This person, I feel like they went through a big, huge clarity cycle. Okay, they might have been content and sitting in a good space, I feel like even materially, um, but there was a lot of work that has to come through here. There's been a lot of pain and suffering for them and they are closing out that cycle, right? So they weren't quite ready is what I'm getting. They weren't quite ready, okay? I feel like there is a lot of topsy-turvy decisions that have to be made here, okay? Like it's time to stop going back and forth, right? It's time to pick a, pick a direction, right? And then let this stuff kind of balance out. I do feel like um, it's very possible that this person will be reaching out to this person, but this person has already understood that, that what they were waiting for, they have to give themselves first before they connect with another person. Does that make sense? This is inner work we're talking about. Like they were reaching out into the world looking for something that needed to come from themselves, and it was a very painful process here for them. But I do see them immediately. It shows up. After this seven, it shows right up into a 10. I see them getting this. Uh, we've got an emperor coming in here. I was talking about power couples, wondering why that had come up. And that's what I feel like this is. I do feel like you guys are going to be inspiring each other to make this happen. 
Okay, there is going to be resistance around this. And I feel it has a lot to do with just fear of the unknown, fear of, you know, like wanting to trust somebody, not necessarily feeling free to do that, not seeing the happy side of the situation. Okay, not seeing the happy side of the situation. So what you need to understand here, all right, is that this is all a growth process. Okay, this is a growth process. Think about it on a soul level from that higher perspective. Okay, we're all healing parts of ourselves, right? Yeah, chop wood. This is, this is going to take some work here, guys. Okay, this relationship is blessed. I will get back to, uh, I'm going to ask about that Eight of Wands in a minute in case you're concerned about that. I feel that from somebody as to how that's going to happen. But I just, yeah, this is about learning to be gentle. Okay, about learning to be gentle. And if this is somebody from the past, if this is a current relationship that you're trying to bring in to a higher perspective, you have to let certain things go. You have to realize that every day is a new day, okay? Imagine the possibilities is what I'm getting for you. Imagine the possibilities, all right? I'm going to ask about this Eight of Wands, and then I'm going to pull another relationship card. Yeah, this Eight of Wands, okay? is bringing in plenty of opportunity. Wow, we've got this high priestess and there's the empress. So when you start to shift that perspective and start to understand that the universe is offering you an opportunity here, okay, that you have to do the growth to make this work, right? Then the world opens up. And I feel like this high priestess intuitive energy is something that you're both doing together. It's kind of like a co-creation thing. We all get insights. We all get signs. We all get that. If you're open to them and know how to read them and, and receive them, then the two of you together, can, you know, talking and communicating about these insights can go really far, right? You deserve love. You are lovable. And I'm hearing that it's got to be authentic. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay? If you want to have a, a solid relationship, there has to be communication. There has to be authenticity. Okay? And I think that's what this person kind of learned is that they needed to be authentic in this. With themselves first. Yeah, this is a crossroads. You guys can either decide to do this or not. I do feel like you provide each other kind of a sense of shelter and a chance to kind of mingle with the energies of the universe. There's a safety factor here, okay? Some kind of a safety factor. And the warning is here that you need to understand that you need to have that for yourself first and then come together. I tell my kids all the time that you're literally building a planet with every new relationship. What are you putting in the planet? And what is the other person putting in? What do you want to keep out of your own planet, right? You have to be responsible for your energies and what you're pouring into this. Again, I do see a commitment here. Power couple. We have the emperor and the empress. I don't know. I mean, this is huge. This is huge. Okay. Number two here. Definitely a committed relationship. Definitely the chance to like build or expand this empire, right? I see empire. And when I say that, it doesn't necessarily mean material. It can mean, you know, building a whole community. There's a lot of ways to build an empire, right? There's a lot of multi-levels, right? Okay, I do see um, that both of you coming together is going to boost the financial situation as well. I'm going to grab a couple more cards here. And this reading is getting long. I apologize. Yeah. Knight of Cups. I feel like this person's going to come forward to this person first. And um, there's going to be some decisions that have to be made. It's going to take this person off guard. But they're showing up here. Okay. It's going to take this person off guard a little bit. Yeah. There's some growth that needs to happen. 
There's some growth that needs to happen. There's some acceptance that needs to happen. Okay, there was, um, there is purging of things in both of this person's worlds that need to happen in order for this to work. Okay, there are things that are no longer serving either one of you. All right, so this isn't about this huge crazy crash. It could be, I'm also picking up if you have been in a relationship with this person, there could have been some tragedy surrounding this. But this is an opportunity for you to move forward cleaned and cleansed, right? Process this stuff, get rid of things. And, and that includes like cleaning out your space, right? Get rid of things no longer serving you. Thank them and, and let them go on their way. And there's a process to that. If anybody has questions, drop it in the comments. All right, because this is a definite wish fulfillment here. This is justice coming in for both of you. For both of you. Okay, I'm also getting it's time to grab hold of the future here. It's time to grab hold. And it's coming in in a three, mind, body, spirit. I really feel like this relationship has such great potential. This was meant to be is kind of what I'm hearing this relationship was meant to be because there are things on the planet that need to happen. And the universe kind of assigned this, you know, is kind of how I'm feeling about this. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got a ton of cards. I'm going to grab two of them. I've got true love coming out here. Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. Right on point with what I was saying. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. This is about self-love first. And then I also have clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. And, you know, there's a process to that. You have to really tune in and be open to really listening and be open to doing that work. I'm going to grab an activation card for you. Hey, by the way, I got some new designs up on the store. So check those out. One's Be Foxy. Um, I'm, I'm getting them onto different products here. Just so you know, it takes some time. Uh, with the sizing and everything, I want to make sure, I always want to make sure these are hand drawn or hand painted and then digitized. And I want to make sure that they'll print well. So it takes a little bit of time. Remembrance is coming in as a 38, which is 11. I'm just going to let this card sit here for a minute. This is beautiful. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Okay. I feel like some of you are resisting this relationship for a lot of reasons and they're really good, but you have to remember that you have grown. Okay. You're a different person now than you were yesterday, right? An hour ago. You're, you're learning and growing all the time. So it's about trying to stay in the moment and really imagining and setting intentions for how you want things to be. If it works out, great. If that person is going to meet you, they're great. There might be days they don't, right? That's why you have to have that, that alignment autonomously, right? Hey, you guys, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.